blurry. Why? Hello, welcome to another video. Woo, it's Groundhog Day. <laughs> Again. <laughs> the days are blending together. I'm gonna try to have a good day. That's my intention. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Thrive Market. Amazing, awesome. A little bit more about them later on today. Today I'm gonna show you guys everything I'm eating. I'll just take you along a day in my life. All right guys, let's make some breakfast. I am just taking a bit of avocado oil, which I got from Thrive Market. I'm gonna heat this up on a pan, and then I'm going to cook up some tofu. I've got some medium firm tofu here, which I am just pan frying. And the trick with pan frying tofu is patience. <laughs> Use a little patience, let it sit for a few minutes before trying to flip it. And we have a few broken pieces there, and we're also going to cook up a veggie burger patty. And you guys are like, what in God's name is she making? Anyways, as you can see here, look how beautiful and golden brown the tofu has become. So we flip it, and then I'm also going to add some black salt, also known as kala namak. That's going to give the tofu a very eggy taste. And we're also going to chop up some tomatoes. I'm going to save a couple of slices here. And the rest I'm just going to roughly chop because we're going to make some tomato juice or tomato smoothie. I guess it would be more of a smoothie because we're adding everything into a blender along with a few ice cubes. And we're also going to add a little bit of maple syrup just to sweeten it up a little bit and then just blend this up. Super simple yet so refreshing and delicious. I highly recommend trying this out, you guys. And then I'm going to take an English muffin. I'm going to toast it. And if you haven't guessed already, we are making a breakfast sandwich. So I'm just spreading a bit of ketchup along with some Dijon mustard as well. I'm using this one right here. And then we can add that veggie burger patty along with two pieces of the tofu egg situation. And of course, those two slices of tomato. And that's how easy it is to make a vegan breakfast sandwich. So that is that along with the delicious tomato juice. That's my breakfast. And I know they say to not look at your phone or be distracted when you're eating, but this is one thing that I just, I don't know. I don't agree. <laughs> I think it's fine to look at your phone <laughs> and watch TV. So that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at my phone and I'm watching Shit's Creek, guys. I'm watching Shit's Creek, which I um, haven't seen yet. I know I'm like years late to the game, but that's usually me. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying myself, enjoying my coffee, enjoying my uh, tomato smoothie, enjoying my breakfast sandwich. I've been feeling very blah lately, just blah. I don't like feeling like that, so I'm gonna try not to feel like that today. I got some skin issues currently, pimples just popping up out of everywhere. Oh man, guys. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> we gonna be okay. The sun is on our side today. Hello, sun. As you've seen, I just cleaned my room and I decided to hang up these random paintings that I did during paint night, <laughs> like years ago. And they were just sitting in my bathroom. So I was like, I'm just gonna hang it. Anyways, I'm also going to get a diffuser going. We've got eucalyptus, we've got tea tree. We got that going. I love diffusers. Uh, I don't know if essential oils do anything, but I just like it. It seems like I'm in a spa, you know? I just cleaned and that made me feel better. <laughs> I did like a pretty deep clean, which felt really good. Now I think I'm gonna meditate. I'm gonna try to meditate again. I've fallen off the wagon. I think I wanna get back to it because obviously right now the mental health thing is very important, okay? I'm so happy the weather is nice. Let's do some skincare, which is always something I love doing on self-care day. I'm also going to roll my face. I'm using this fancy roller that everybody has now, and um, apparently it's good for your skin. <laughs> I don't know exactly, but uh, it's supposed to be good for you. And I make really funny faces when I'm doing skincare. Am I the only one? Am I the only one? And I just love that feeling when your face feels like half wet. <laughs> half oily, like super hydrated, 
love it. Speaking of hydration, drink your water, guys. Hi guys, so as I mentioned earlier, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. If you guys haven't heard of Thrive Market, they're an online membership-based marketplace and they're all about making healthy living affordable and attainable and easy for everybody. It's a really great place to buy really high quality, healthy and sustainable products. They've got food, they have home products, they have beauty products, and so many different vegan options to choose from. So the whole premise of their website is that you become a member and then they guarantee you savings. And apparently members save an average of $32 for every order and all of their orders are delivered straight to your door with carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouses They're all about sustainability and environmentally friendly practices and guys Another great thing about thrive market is that they have a program called thrive gives where they basically give a completely free membership to a low-income family or a veteran for every paid membership. So if you get a membership, you're actually giving a free membership to somebody else in need. So they could also have healthy, sustainable products for an affordable price, which is so amazing. If you wanna try out Thrive Market, they have two membership options. The first one is a monthly membership, which is $9.95 a month. Second one is a yearly membership, which comes to $5 a month. So obviously the yearly membership is gonna be cheaper, especially if you plan on actually using Thrive Market throughout the year. And guys, today is the day. Today is the day to try it because they have an amazing new offer. So this offer is 25% off your first order and a free gift. 25% off your first order plus a free gift. Amazing. Link is down below guys. Don't forget to check them out. Thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video and yeah, happy shopping. We interrupt this program for a super easy chocolate granola recipe. As always, there's going to be a blog post linked down below with the written recipe and the ingredients, so check that out. First, we want to preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna start with the dry ingredients. We are going to take two cups of rolled oats and we're gonna add that into a large mixing bowl. We're also going to add two cups of puffed wheat into this mixture as well. I have a giant bag of puffed wheat, so that's why I'm adding that. I feel like you could probably add something else as well if you'd like, uh, but this is what I'm adding. Let's also do half a cup of pumpkin seeds. You could also do sunflower seeds or other types of nuts and seeds, but uh, this is the one that I am using. We're also doing half a cup of coconut flakes. Next, let's do a third cup of cacao powder. You could also do cocoa powder if you'd like. They're pretty much, I don't know, very similar, but I think cacao is supposed to be a bit healthier, so that's good. Next ingredient is totally optional, but I decided to add some goji berries. I added three quarter cup of goji berries. You could also use cranberries or raisins or just skip the step. And then let's mix together the dry ingredients. And now in a separate bowl, let's mix together the wet ingredients, starting with half a cup of applesauce. We're also gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla extract. That part is optional. And then we're gonna do a quarter cup of maple syrup. I'm using this one from Thrive Market. And if you want your granola to be a little bit sweeter, I would add a few more tablespoons of maple syrup. So yeah, anyways, mix that well together. And now we can add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and mix this very well. Make sure you get all of the bottom. You don't want no dry pieces, okay? And now you can spread that mixture evenly onto a lined baking sheet. And we are going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for a total of 40 minutes. But halfway through, you do want to take it out and toss everything to make sure everything is cooking nicely. And once it's done guys, just make sure you let it cool completely before you put it into any sort of container. And that, my friends, is how easy it is to make your own granola. So you can play around with the ingredients, you can feel free to add other ingredients, and have fun with it. So after making all that granola, I got a bit hungry, okay? So I made a little snack. I have some plain vegan yogurt. I'm gonna mix half a scoop of chocolate protein powder. So just mix that really, really well. And then I'm going to add some of that chocolate granola. I'm actually using an old batch because I still had some left. So I'm going to add some of that along with some raspberries. And there is a very quick and easy high protein snack. Guys, I feel like I already did a lot today and it's weird because I wasn't planning on doing a lot. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take it easy and just like do self-care activities like cleaning and you know, just taking it easy. And then I realized I already did. I feel like I did a lot, okay? So I cleaned my whole room. I made granola. Yes, I'm also gonna make some cookies because I needed to get rid of the um, oat pulp that I had from making oat milk and now I'm editing a video so I think I'm going to edit a little bit more maybe for another half an hour and then I'm gonna go for a run 
that's the plan but yeah it's been quite nice actually today it's funny how when i don't put the pressure on myself actually sometimes you end up getting more done because you're just not overthinking it and over stressing maybe that's why time to edit and then i'm gonna go for a run After my run, I decided to make some oat pulp cookies. So I'm just taking some oat pulp, which I had left over from making oat milk. We're gonna add two cups of that into the same mixing bowl that we used for the granola. And along with the oat pulp, we're gonna add in a quarter cup of cacao powder, a quarter cup of applesauce, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and we're gonna mix this well. And at the end here, I also added in a quarter cup of vegan chocolate chips, and let's mix this well. And then of course I am going to scoop out tablespoons of the mixture onto a liner and I also like to flatten it with a fork that is slightly wet so that we get a nice little cookie shape. And all you have to do is bake these at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 12 minutes. Now the only thing I would change next time is adding in a little bit extra sugar or maple syrup because it wasn't sweet enough but I ended up eating them kind of like pancakes with like maple syrup on top. Oh my god, so good. <laughs> And now it is lunchtime. I wanted to make some kimbap out of like random things that I had left over in my fridge. So that's what I'm doing. First, I am chopping up some baby bok choy along with some carrots, which I'm cutting julienne style. I also have this king oyster mushroom that has been sitting in my fridge for a long time. So I'm also going to chop into small pieces. And I'm just going to take a nonstick pan and cook up the carrots along with the king oyster mushrooms with just a little bit of water. So I just add little splashes of water here and there to cook everything and I also like to cover things up so that you allow things to steam and aid in the cooking process. And to season, I'm using this coconut amino sauce from Thrive Market and this one's one of my favorite sauces. It is sweet, it's kind of like a sweet soy sauce and it's so, so good. So I just added some of that into the mushrooms and also the carrots. So once that's cooked up, I just put it aside and plated it and then in that same pan, I'm going to cook up the baby bok choy and to season the baby bok choy, I'm just using a bit of salt and some garlic powder. And now we are ready to assemble the kimbap. So into a bowl, I'm going to add in one cup of cooked short grain brown rice. We're going to add in half a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil and some salt. If you want to add in a little bit more of the sesame oil, you can do that as well. And then we can uh, put it together. So I'm taking a nori sheet here and I'm going to spread out with some uh, damp hands. I just like to have a little bowl of uh, water when I make kimbap and I'm just going to spread out that rice evenly, leaving a little bit of space at the top. And then I'm going to add some pickled radishes. I get the pickled radishes from a Korean supermarket, by the way. And then we are going to add in the ingredients that we just prepared. So we have the carrots and we also have the mushrooms. And remember that pan fried tofu egg thing that we made for breakfast? Well, I had some leftovers, so I just sliced them into thinner slices and I'm just going to add them into my kimbap. And of course, we can't forget about that baby bok choy, so I added that in there as well. And as you can see, my kimbap is exploding, okay? This is my issue. I always overfill my kimbap and my sushi. And if I have any tip for anybody that is new to making kimbap or sushi, I would recommend not overfilling the center because it's gonna end up in disaster. So I had to take a few things out and I rolled it up and I'm honestly shocked that this was able to actually roll up. Yeah. <laughs> And to cut up the kimbap, you want to use a sharp knife and if you are having troubles, you can dampen the knife with a little bit of water. That's what I like to do and that's how you cut it. But yeah, a sharp knife is the most important thing. So there you go, I plated everything and then I had some leftover insides so I decided to just add that onto a separate side plate so I could enjoy those as well. And I'm also going to make a little bit of the seaweed soup. It's called mesengi in Korean and you just add a little bit of hot water and then it just kind of becomes a seaweed soup. My parents got it for me from Korea. I'm adding a little bit of soy sauce and there's my lunch. 
And for those of you that are curious and wondering, kimbap is not the same thing as sushi. First of all, kimbap is a Korean dish and sushi is Japanese. And secondly, the rice is seasoned differently. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, rice in sushi is seasoned with rice vinegar and sugar and maybe some salt, whereas kimbap is seasoned with salt and sesame oil. So it is a lot more kind of savory rather than sweet. And kimbap is usually just served on its own like so without any soy sauce or wasabi or ginger or anything like that. And of course, what's inside kimbap is usually quite different from what's found traditionally in sushi. So that's the difference between kimbap and sushi. And I am eating my lunch watching Shit's Creek again. And then I am just going to store the cookies that are finished in a nice little container. guys i just went grocery shopping dinner time i'm making pasta we are making high protein pasta so i have these pasta shells from thrive market these are higher protein 14 grams of protein per serving yeah we're gonna cook that up this dinner is me trying to use up some of the things in my fridge which is usually my life so i'm just chopping up some cauliflower that i had left over we are going to cook this up on a pan and for protein, I'm using two veggie hot dogs, which I've sliced up. I'm gonna cook that alongside the cauliflower. And I tried not to add oil, but I decided to add a little bit of oil to uh, aid in the cooking process. And the hot dogs cooked a lot faster, so I'm just setting that aside and then just finishing up cooking the cauliflower. To season the cauliflower, I'm just gonna add some lemon and herb seasoning. And I also decided to add some nutritional yeast on the cauliflower, which, oh my God, was so good. And I don't know, for some reason, the nutritional yeast tasted like extra cheesy with the cauliflower. I don't know, am I crazy? Have I been vegan for too long? Who knows? And once the cauliflower is finished, you wanna set that aside. And then I decided to add in half a bell pepper onto that same pan. Once again, this is just something I had left over in the fridge that I wanted to use up. So along with that, I'm adding in the finished pasta along with some leftover tomato sauce. Once again, using up my leftovers, very important. We're gonna mix this well, and then we're gonna add back in those veggie dogs. Again, mix this well. And at the end here, I'm just adding a little bit of garlic powder and that's it. <laughs> so easy, so, so easy. And now we can plate it. And as you can see, I'm having the cauliflower as a side. And at the end here, I'm gonna top everything with some more nooch, yum. And there is my super simple lazy dinner made of random leftovers in my fridge. And for dessert, I decided to have an orange. I'm trying to eat more kind of fruit as a dessert rather than chocolate or something like that. So that's that's my attempt. I'm gonna eat an orange, fantastic. And another habit that I'm trying to get into is having more tea after a meal. I feel like it's supposed to help with digestion. I don't know. I feel like it helps. Don't know what it's supposed to help, but it helps, okay? Anyways, I'm having some tea and um, in my Harry Potter mug, of course. So I'm just putting on a little makeup because first I have a meeting and then we are recording the podcast. And as you know, we film the podcast and put it on YouTube, which is why I gotta, you know, fix a little slum slum, make myself look semi presentable. I'm having a relatively relaxed day. I think it's going well and I'm just taking it easy today, which has been very nice. Is that it? I think so. Do I need to put powder on? My hands are feeling super dry. I feel like they've cracked. Yeah, they got really dry, so they cracked. So now every time I put hand sanitizer on, it's like, 
Anyway. Right, guys I got my skincare on I'm ready for bed now usually before bed what I do is I get my diffuser going I pretty much use it every single night I also get my like humidifier going that's my like nighttime routine sort of situation anyways I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me and seeing what I eat and also what I do in a day if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to this channel guys don't forget to subscribe and once again thank you so much to thrive market for sponsoring today's video don't forget about the awesome deal that's going on right now 25 percent off your first order and a free gift the link is down below my friends and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye